Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Aaron Seaton with The Chiropractic Place, and today's video is about car accidents and whiplash. Um, most commonly when somebody's rear-ended or hit and our body is kind of thrown forward, a lot of times we've thrown forward and back as far as our neck, and we can create whiplash injuries in those car accidents. And so today we're gonna to talk about not only what happens during that whiplash injury, but what things to look out for, how to properly heal from those injuries, and what chiropractic care can do for somebody who's been in a car accident and that has had whiplash. So first thing I like to talk with my patients about is right after the accident, people tend to be kind of in a state of shock. Um, they may not have had much in the way of symptoms for maybe even the first few hours after the car accident. Um, they're just kind of unaware that they're injured. And so this can kind of fool people into believing that they're okay and maybe this lasts a day or two sometimes. Um, but typically with whiplash injuries, the pain and the injuries start to show up a day, two, three days later, and it kind of slowly starts building up over time. Um, a lot of the symptoms that patients have with whiplash due to a car accident um, can almost be inexplicable. Like they, it almost doesn't make sense to the patient. They'll say like, oh, you know, I had pain yesterday on my neck and now it's kind of down into my back and maybe into my shoulder coming down my arm. And so what, what's going on is the, as the inflammation is changing due to the accident and to the injury, you'll start to see these different kinds of pain patterns that don't necessarily make sense. That's really common with whiplash. That's part of the healing process as your body starts going to work on the damaged tissue. So make no mistake, that's a very normal reaction, but it's, seen, it's kind of scary for patients because it seems like the symptoms are almost changing every day. Someday they'll have headaches, the next day it might be neck pain or mid-back pain, sometimes it's coming down the arm. That is very true with whiplash from a car accident. So one of the things also to be aware of is your level of awareness of the accident can also affect how injured you are. If you are, if you see a car coming at you, or maybe you glanced in your rear view, uh, rear view mirror and you notice and you had time to brace for the accident, you're able to tighten down, that protects you from the injury far more than if somebody is completely caught off guard. So if you were in a, a car accident and you were completely unaware, like, you, whoa, what just happened? You are far more likely to be injured because you did not have time to brace for impact, to kind of lock your spine down with your muscles. So your ligaments and joints took a lot of force during that accident. So there, you're actually 15 times more likely to have a, a, a chronic whiplash injury if you were unaware of the accident happening. So that's a definitely a very important thing to, to touch on for patients and very important for people to be aware, hey, if you didn't see it coming, you had no clue, you definitely need some care. Uh, you know, it could be as little, in the research is as little as three to four miles per hour. If you're unaware that the accident is happening, you could get a whiplash injury. So a lot of people who are hit at 15, 20, 25, 30 miles an hour or more, think of the level of injury they have from that car accident. So it's important for you to understand what to do, and that's what we're gonna talk about next. So the next thing I always talk about is that first 30 to 60 days, and I wanna make this very clear to the people watching, because this is important, that all of the orthopedic literature on this, all the chiropractic literature on this is very, very clear that what you do that first couple of months is by far the most crucial. So waiting a few months before you seek out care is the exact wrong thing to do. The research is very clear on this, that in the first 30 to 60 days, you need to start mobilizing that tissue immediately. So that means seeking out chiropractic care, undergoing those protocols. In our office, we tend to combine massage therapy with the chiropractic care so that we're addressing any scar tissue, any adhesions that may form from the accident, we wanna break those up early so that that tissue heals properly so you don't lose range of motion, you are far more likely to heal properly and far less likely to develop chronic whiplash problems. So the first 30 to 60 days, so important, you have to mobilize that tissue, otherwise you are setting yourself up down the road for future problems. 
And another important fact here is sometimes people who just, they don't seek out care, they just kind of ride out the inflammation. They might feel better in 60 to 90 days, but down the road, 12 to 18 months from there, they start getting this right here, the chronic whiplash symptoms where scar tissue has formed, lot, they've lost range of motion, they have chronic inflammation and pain in these areas because they did not do what needed to be done in the first 30 to 60 days. I hope that's clear. So chronic whiplash, a lot of these issues can be prevented if you do this right. And that's where getting in to our office, seeing a chiropractor for your whiplash injuries that you had from a car accident, getting properly diagnosed. In my office, we do digital x-rays. We sit down, we understand the nature of the accident, we properly document that accident, and then we develop a care plan for that patient. Usually in the beginning, chiropractic care with massage therapy to get things settled down. And as the patient begins to respond, then we're gonna start introducing rehabilitative exercises, strengthening the area, restoring the integrity of the muscles. Very important to follow the right game plan to get you better. Otherwise, you could end up here. And a lot of the times, these people can have lifelong pain because we didn't get this right. So hopefully this video makes sense for you guys. I hope you understand better about what to do if you're in a car accident and had whiplash and how to contact us, get chiropractic advice, get chiropractic care if you've had this injury. We've seen this hundreds of times. So thank you so much for tuning into our video. I'm Dr. Aaron Seaton with The Chiropractic Place.